everyone welcome back to another video thank you for joining me today and I know I'm a little bit late on this little update for the special site for 6.3 uh, it was the holiday so I was pretty busy but yeah that's all taken care of I'm back home and we're ready to go ahead and do a quick update so in case you weren't aware gods revel and lands tremble we do have the official release date which is coming out January 10th so that's not this upcoming week, it's the week after that. So we did get a little bit more information. You can actually go to the Lodstone and it has everything there. So let's go ahead and just check it out real quick. Oh, also, before I forget, we do have Heavenstern. So that's going to begin on December 31st, which is this upcoming Saturday. And this is a very special one because for the first time, we're not getting any kind of helmets for this particular event. Normally for Heavenstern, they celebrate the upcoming new year with an animal. And every year we get like these special helmets that have that particular animal. This is going to be the first time that we don't actually get anything like that. But you can go ahead and check that out when you have the time. Right now, let's just head to the special site. Okay, so here we are. We're back and... I'm looking at the artwork once again, and I'm really trying to figure out if this part here really is part of the Crystal Tower, or if that is part of the new Myths of the Realm dungeon, or I guess the Raid dungeon. I don't know, it could be either or, because we did see the Crystal Tower a little bit there, but anyway, let's go ahead and just move on to the updates. Yeah, so you can view the trailer for that right through here. We did get the trailer. If you want to see my live reaction, you can go ahead and click on the link down below. I thought it was really good. Okay, so let's head on down here. So we already went over the main scenario, but here we go with Myths of a Realm Part 2. So we only got a couple pictures here. You actually get a lot more of this in the trailer, but this is basically how the entire dungeon looks like it starts off in. So it does look like we will be going through the Heaven of Earth kind of themed for the very beginning, and then we'll be heading off into the Heaven of Ice. So it does look like we will be facing off against Talone as the final boss for that, which I was kind of hoping for. I can only imagine how Ishgard is going to react if they ever hear about that. But this is a beautiful picture of what looks like the World Tree, and we do see a lot more action later on. And it looks like Graha is going to be accompanying us with this weird contraption on his back. I do not know what it is. It kind of... I mean, we saw a little bit during the letter from the producer, and apparently he uses it to, I don't know, scan, like, the entire area or something? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out about that. Bit moving on to the quick description. The Twelve, Eorzea's Garden Deities seek to fulfill their enamic aspirations, and for this, they claim they must engage in battle with men. Continuing your efforts to uncover the truth, you and your comrades set forth once more for their heavenly abode in the Phantom Realm. So, we still don't know exactly what the gods are planning here, if they really are gods, which I'm pretty sure that they... I mean, I say that they are, because they're definitely not primals, but at the same time, I'm not completely convinced that they are gods either. I I'm guessing that maybe they seek to test mankind to see if they are strong enough to go on forward without, like, the interference of the gods. That's my best bet for this whole thing, but we'll find out eventually. Okay, we already talked about the new dungeon as well. And we do get a special trial, which is a complete secret. They do this... I mean, they've been doing this ever since... I think it was Tsukiyomi? Yeah, since Stormblood. They've been keeping... It's secret what the trial fights for, like, the X.3 patches are. Which is annoying, but at the same time, if they tell you, then you kind of already know what's going to be coming. So, Ruben Conte, maybe. That would be cool if we go off against him. The search for Azdaya continues, that is, until a powerful new foe steps forward to oppose you. Wouldn't it be great if it would be Ruben Conte? Or, even better, it could be up against Golbez himself. I highly doubt that, but it would be cool. Okay, and this was a really big surprise with the Omega Protocol Ultimate. So yes, this is going to be like the new... I don't know what I was expecting. I really wasn't sure. But looking back, I guess it was kind of... I mean, there really wasn't much to choose from, if I have to be honest. But yeah, we saw Omega at the very end of the trailer for 6.3. 
And as soon as I saw that, I heard the theme, it was like, oh no, this is the new one. This is going to be it. So what if Omega's relentless testing had continued, had provided the elusive answer it sought? The Minstrel's words invite you to imagine this scenario, to entertain the possibility of that which may have been, and follow the experiment to its ultimate conclusion. So, yes. We really don't know what would have happened if Omega had completed his training. I mean, would it have created, like, a version of us? Would it become us that we would have to fight? That would have been awesome. But yeah, if the, like, the ultimate dragon song was anything to go by, I could tell that this is going to be an insane fight. Okay, we already know about the Unreal fight, which is going to be Sophia. Tataru's Grand Endeavor! So, yes, when Tatara receives an unexpected proposal for a partnership from an acquaintance in the Far East, you are beckoned to join in the negotiations for reasons beyond your kin. Why she brings us here, I do not know. I'm guessing it's going to be with Hancock and maybe the Four Lords. That's my best bet. I do think it's going to be the Four Lords because she was with us for that whole thing. And that would be fun to see. I really don't know where this is all going to go. I really don't. And I'm wondering, like, after this, are we going to be heading off to maybe back to Shadowbringers land? Like, Lakeland? Like, she tries to come up with some kind of business partner on the first? That would be amazing <laughs> if she was able to do that. Anyway, we also have the shift in Gymnasium Agonon, which is gorgeous. So we have two pictures here. This is going to be like the new treasure hunt area. So we have like kind of like this outside area, which looks like it's taking place on one of Elpis's islands, floating islands. Anyway, we also have what looks like we're, we're fighting against something. I do not know. The thing with the ancients is that they don't do anything by half, do they? Nestled in a corner of Elpis, the testing ground of creation lies the Gymnasium Agana. A facility constructed to gauge the limits of familiars, precisely how many of its trials Asim's familiar can withstand, and whether or not they will discover the treasure hidden in its depths, is something of a debate among the ancients. For curiosity's sakes, and undoubtedly to stave off boredom, ethereal observers watch with bated breath from within. So I'm guessing that we're just going to be putting on a show for the ancients, which is rather rude. But, I mean, would they really have treasure? I mean... How, it, how does money work in this time period? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I have no clue how this whole thing's gonna work out with trying to find any kind of treasure. Anyway, moving on. Okay, we're gonna have an island sanctuary update. So, this is just a quick little look. You can see the pasture in the background. See the nice little lighthouse. This is like one of the new landmarks that you can have set up. I not sure what it is it's like maybe a playground or something I do see like a little swing here a tunnel a little babbling creek I think this is just like a little playground or something which it really is cute and I would like to have that in my area but return to paradise where a new landmark animals sanctuary rings and unlockable items await in addition numerous improvements have been made to the user interface and more based on player feedback there's no better time than now to explore your island. Well, that's good to know. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, new Crystalline Conflict Arena. Oh my god, I've been doing so much Crystalline Conflict lately trying to get that new mount. I am proud to say that I was able to succeed in getting it. Finally. And I'm not planning on looking at Crystalline Conflict again for at least a while. But this is going to be the new area, which is going to be a nice little diversion from the areas that we already have. And as I'm sure you can tell, it takes place in Kugane. So, I mean, it looks really cool. It definitely adds something different. And we did see a little bit of that during the letter from the producer. Crystalline Conflict's newest venue will challenge competitors' acumen like never before. Do you have what it takes to march unscathed in the Pemiculic Parade? I honestly don't know, because like I said, I'm really not the biggest fan of PvP. I mean, I do it for the rewards, but... Yeah, if you're a fan of PvP, then I'm sure that you're also going to love this. Oh, and it looks like we do have a familiar figure out there 
just kind of watching the whole scene. Yeah, maybe it's like a play or something, and they just invite, like, the rich fat cats in the Far East to come and watch adventures tear each other apart. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so that looks like it's it. Oh, wait. Of course, I almost forgot. The housing update. So, as you can see, this is Limsa. And we are going to be getting a bunch of new housing items, like a new skin for the house, new glamours, everything. New neighborhoods are coming to the Mist, the Lavender Beds, the Goblet, Shirogane, and even the freshly built Imperium. So yes, all of the housing districts are going to be getting a bunch of new plots, new areas, so that more people have a shot of being able to win either their own private house or a house for their free company. So if you have a lot of money and you have always wanted a house, now is probably the best time to go ahead and try to get it. And that looks like everything for right now. We do have a lot more coming in the upcoming days. I really can't wait. So 6.3 is going to be pretty big. And I hope that everyone is going to be looking forward to it. I will continue to make additional updates the more that we get. And we are getting there. We are almost to January as we speak. So it's about... Yeah, so I think it's about two weeks away from tomorrow. So that's going to be it for right now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the release date for 6.3. So until next time, everyone, take care.